Hi guys, it's Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, I hope you subscribe and stick around for more. In today's video, we are here doing a tan video. It's probably been a good two months since I last did a tanning video, but this time I thought I would spice it up a bit because rather than doing a whole fake tanning review, I thought I would review multiple tans all at the same time, but also helping you find the perfect tan for you. Here we are in my very natural pale state. So my plan is to test out these four fake tans on my arm to really see which one of these is the best fake tan. If you haven't seen already, I have got a top five fake tan tier list. However, we're gonna compare them head to head at the same time. We need to know the pros and the cons all at the same time. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so let's talk about the tans that I have to actually test out for you guys. Starting out with my absolute favorite tan of all time. This is the Centro Pay Luxe Cream Whipped Mousse and it is genuinely my favorite one on the planet. It feels good, it smells good. So of course, we had to compare her to all the rest of the tans to make sure that she still is number one. Another one of my top, top tans of all time is Coco and Eve Sunny Honey. This one is in ultra dark. When I say she gives you a tan, it is the richest, deepest tan on the planet. Darker than Saint Tropez. The only thing that makes this tan a little bit less good for me is probably the smell. The third tan that I have is the Bali Body One Hour Express. Just because this tan is so convenient and I really do love the color, this tan naturally had to appear. Of course, we're going to test around and compare her to the rest of the tans. And lastly, the first one that I ever truly fell in love with, the Bali Body Self Tanning Mousse. This is just the original one. This takes eight hours to develop. Even though she takes forever, still probably one of the best tans on the planet just because of how deep and rich the color is. But who knows, because we're gonna compare it to every other tan, so we must know. Is she really a reliable tan? I feel like I should test out more tans. I have like a million more. Okay, so in terms of application, I of course, <laughs> I, of course, have an abundance of mitts, so I thought I would give each tan their own individual mitt so we can keep all the tans separate without contaminating any. We also have some baby wipes to be on cleanup duty because you best believe I'm gonna probably mess it up. So the only thing left to do is actually apply the tans, which, uh, super exciting, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start out with our Saint Tropez. I also have the Saint Tropez mitt ready to use. I am genuinely so interested to see how all of these tans are gonna turn out and what will actually come of this. Obviously we don't need loads because we're only um, doing a little bit. So I'm gonna start down here. Beautiful. Okay, and there is our first streak. This is, this is going well. Oh, I've just realized that it's like half around my arm. So my first impression of this tan, it is so luxuriously silky. I mean, you can see even here, it looks so soft. And the actual color of the tan is really nice. You can see that it's more of a golden, bronzy color. There's not very many orange undertones, which is obviously a pro. So now to use the Coco and Eve Ultra Dark, We're using our Coco and Eve Mip. This one already looks so much darker than the Saint Tropez. I mean, already that color comparison. Let me just give this a little cleaner. Now, I thought these were not orange undertones, but now comparing it to the Coco and Eve, whoa. So Saint Tropez, maybe you are a little bit orange undertony. I didn't even realize the definition of green based tan. <laughs> I do feel like with the Coco and Eve, you do need a bit more product to build up on top of just because it feels a little bit thinner. Whereas the Saint Tropez, in terms of texture and application, I think Saint Tropez is still in the lead. Okay, Barley Body Ultra Dark. Okay, so we are borrowing a Never Brands mitt just because um, I don't have two Barley Body mitts, so. Whoa, that's a very, very similar bronziness to the Coco and Eve tan. Very heavy, very deep. Color. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. Whoa. So that is a lot, lot warmer than the Coco and Eve. So interesting. Looking at it like this, that is actually a really, really intense brown. Like I said, I'm actually seeing a lot more orange undertones in the Saint Tropez, but this is definitely more of a brown. Very bronzy, very brown looking. Whereas the Coco and Eve is definitely more of a green undertone. So that's really interesting. I've gone really red because I'm having like a hot flush right now. Okay, so our last time is also Barley Body. So I'm very interested to know if it's going to be a similar tone to the Barley Body that we've just put on, or if we're gonna have more of a green base just because it is a one hour express tan. Okay, so this time we're using the Barley Body Mitt. Oh, that was way too much. Okay, well, here it is. This one is a lot, lot lighter in color. This is very similar to the Lux Whipped Mousse. Okay, first impression is deep. 
doing this, I have realized how veiny I am, so that's good to know. Okay, and here's our last tan. So they are all actually very, very different undertones, which I feel like I would never have realized if I hadn't have tested it out like this. They are all just such different colors, which is so weird. I just never noticed before how different the shades were. So I am gonna wait a full 10 hours for all of the tans to develop because they all have different developmental times. And I wanna make sure that every single one of them has a fair chance. From the Barley Body Ultra Dark, which takes a full eight hours, all the way to the One Hour Express, they are all gonna have these same amount of time developing just because I feel like it's only fair that they all achieve their deepest and darkest color and then of course we will test their endurance over the week. So I have just set my 10 hour timer. I will be back officially been 10 hours and I'm here to show you the results. I mean it's intense like this these tans all I'm saying is the looks can be deceptive. Here's my arm. It <laughs> It actually looks ridiculous on so many levels. Um, one thing I will say though is my arm does definitely smell like fake tan. I don't know which one it is or if it's just a combination of all of them, but it's like a whiff, like a whole fake tan fiasco on my arm right now. But this is obviously before we've washed it off. So who knows, we could wash it off and it could look completely different. Hopefully then we can come to the conclusion on which one we like the most. And then uh, of course, the test of time. So I'll be back in like two minutes and uh, yeah. I mean, Oh, well, I, uh, I did, I felt like with this one, the Coco and Eve, that I felt like I washed off most of the color. They kind of all look the same. Um, <laughs> the Bali Body One Hour Express is 100% the warmest tone on here. Like it's very pinky orange. Whereas the Saint Tropez Lux Whipped Mousse is like, where are you? Like, I, I know obviously there's a color difference, but it's so like subtle that I, I'm just kind of surprised. Just. That's it, surprise, I'm surprised. But the Barley Body Ultra Dark, which takes a full eight hours to develop, she's thriving right now, thriving. I was not expecting that, I'm gonna be honest. This, that is a really deep, rich tan. Okay, so now we've seen the results of all the tans. The next thing we need to do is the, the test, test of, of time. time. How are these tans going to last? Are they gonna be patchy? Are they actually gonna last the entire week? Because I have tested all of these individually. I have videos. However, I've never tested them all together. So I'm really interested to see how they fare as a group, as a collective. It's good to know which one is truly the best. This is a fight to know which tan really is the ultimate fake tan, in my opinion. I feel like I should stress that more. In my opinion, this isn't like official, but it's officially my opinion, okay. I will see you guys in one week from now and I will let you know all the pros and the cons of each individual tan and how well they really did last. And we're back. It has officially been six days, not seven days. We didn't quite make it there because uh, if I'm honest, I don't think the tans would have made it there. Um, they're looking a little sad, a little faded. There is two that are barely hanging on. They're about to leave the building. Okay, we're gonna start this in reverse order. So we're gonna start from the top and work our way down. Okay, tan number one. We have Barley Body One Hour Express. So as you guys know, if you have watched my top tan tier list, this was number two. Where is she? Hmm? That's where she's meant to be. Barely visible. Honestly, this tan was the first one to start disappearing, hanging on for dear life. So one thing that I did really like about the tan was it actually did only take one hour to develop. Very convenient, which is always a pro in any tanning routine. The actual tan tone is a very pinky, bronzy color. It is kind of, it's not really a neutral. I would say it's definitely on the warmer end of the spectrum. Great for cool to neutral skin tones. However, I do feel like if you've got very red or pink undertones, probably not the most ideal tan for you just because I feel like it's going to highlight those tones on you and make you look a little bit more orange rather than bronzy. I think the biggest shock to this tan was not only did it fade super quickly, it was the fact that it faded patchy. Like this tan was patchy. <laughs> I would say from about about day three, day four, this tan really started to get patchy. But seeing it as a swatch on my skin, it was a, uh, it was quite obvious. Is it swatch? Swatch? No, it's not swatch. It's gotta be swatch. Overall in this competition, I'm gonna give this a three out of five, just because it is super convenient. I definitely think it would be a great tan and the smell is subtle. It's not a very heavy smelling tan. So three out of five, still great just not the best. Moving down the swatch list, we have Barley Body 
ultra dark. This was genuinely my favorite tan of all time. Now been demoted, but she was, she was first. She was my first. However, her performance was not fantastic. The color guard on this tan, unbelievable. It is a really deep, rich color, almost like a coffee color when you apply it. After developing for a full eight hours, to then wash it off and see that most of the color had been taken off with the color guard, which was really disappointing for me. Sometimes you can wash your tan off and they develop a little bit later on. This one didn't. It just kind of stayed at the color that you'd washed it off. I mean, look at her. She's still there. Like, I mean, compared to, when you compare it to um, her sister, you can see that she's she's barely hanging on. It's a very similar situation in terms of survival. However, this tan was the most patchy. Out of each tan that I tried, this one was the most, on day three, we were, we were patchy. Like, it had like a disintegrate. It was really strange. I'm not a big fan. I honestly, it's, it's kind of reminded me that we've developed further on our tanning journey. I feel like as a tan, if you wanted it for one day, a really deep, rich looking tan. This is the one, this is a really lovely color. If you have a very cool undertone, this is probably your guy. This one is a very ready, brown undertone. So I'm gonna rate her a two out of five. Like I said, a great one day tan, but that's it. After waiting for eight hours to only get that tan last for a few days. What's the point? And the patchiness is not worth it. Okay, moving on to Coco and Eve in Ultra Dark. This tan, let me tell you, she was a dream. I'm going to start off with the cons just because I feel like I want to start in a bad place to end in a great one. The smell of this tan is quite an intense one, especially after first applying it and washing it off. It is, it is present and I know it's this one because I know you smell because I used to wear this one quite often. She's a stinker. I hate to admit it, but this is just one of those tans that you just know you've got on. One other teeny weeny con is this one does go a tiny bit patchy, not massively. So I'm talking about like day four, five, then she started to go a little bit patchy, but it was really subtle. Like it wasn't an obvious patchiness. Moving on to the pros of this tan. Let's start off with number one, she is the most present tan on my arm. Even now, she is still happy, thriving, living her best life. The color and the undertone of this tan, I would say this one is a very cool to neutral, which I think is ideal for most people. And of course, let's talk about the developmental time. This only took three hours to fully develop, which is amazing. I was so happy with this. This one, I think usually it takes two hours. Yeah, it takes two hours, but I left it on after three hours. This, this was deep for convenience, the color, for everything. This is a good all rounder. Like I said, bit of a smell, teeny weeny bit patchy. I'm gonna have to rate her a solid four out of five just because she's a good all rounder. Moving on to the last tan. This is Saint Tropez Luxe Whipped Mousse, which I find incredibly hard to say for absolutely no reason. I really do love this tan and I genuinely thought that she was gonna be the one to take over the entire competition. I don't wanna say I was wrong, but I wasn't right. She's like there, but she's definitely not. So definitely not as light as the One Hour Express, but she's definitely not there. So in terms of longevity, probably not the best tan for the job. It isn't a very deep color, but it is a very healthy natural glow, which is probably why I love this one so much. The application is by far the best of any tan I've ever had in my life. The actual fading process was really even. I'm not seeing any kind of patches, like even now I'm sort of looking, which is great because I feel like most of the tans that we've tried today, they've all gone at least a little bit patchy, but this one definitely tops the cake. In terms of tones, this tan is a a very golden, like I said, natural glowy tan. This isn't warm, this isn't cool, it is literally golden, which is perfect for, I would say, everybody, all skin tones, all skin types. I genuinely think formula and tone, perfect. One con that I do have about this tan is it does take six to eight hours to fully develop. I'm not hating on her, but it's just a long time to develop for a tan that is um, not the deepest of colors. The smell of the tan is very subtle. It's not a very strong one. It's a bit like the, um, it's a very fruity, exotic smell. Overall, I'm gonna rate Saint Tropez a four out of five, just because it's great on your skin, but the color definitely isn't the deepest and the eight hours to develop. Just a subtle reminder that this is all in my own opinion. This is not fact. This is purely me. <laughs> What's your favorite tan? Are there any tans that you'd like me to test out for you guys? If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you, see you, bye.